वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर वीडियो सेशंस हियर इज प्रोफेसर लक्ष्मण माने दिस इज अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन लोकल एंड एवरेज हीट ट्रांसफर कोएफिशिएंट इन दिस सेशन you will be able to explain newton's law of cooling local heat transfer coefficient and average heat transfer coefficient newton's law of cooling by this law heat transfer rate is given by the equation q is equal to h into a into bracket ts minus t infinity unit of heat transfer rate is watt here in this diagram fluid flow is passing over the hot surface is shown here are the parameters of the equations shown so this is a q that is a heat transfer across the plate taking place h is the convective heat transfer coefficient of the medium its unit is watt per meter square kelvin a is the heat transfer area is expressed in meter square ts is the temperature of surface expressed in kelvin t infinity is the temperature of surrounding fluid expressed in kelvin surrounding fluid may be air local heat transfer coefficient now by the newton's law of cooling as q is equal to h into a into ts minus t infinity here small q is equal to capital q by a means heat transfer rate divided by area is equal to it is written like this hl into ts minus t infinity where q is heat flux means ratio of q to a heat transfer rate to area that's why its unit is watt per meter square and hl is local heat transfer coefficient its unit is watt per meter square kelvin now hl dependent on type of fluid flow thermal properties of fluid and important dimensions of surface or pipe over which flow is taking place so hl is a function of rho means density v velocity d and l are dimensions mu is a viscosity cp is a specific heat and k is a thermal conductivity as the flow conditions vary from point to point on the surface therefore the rate of heat transfer and the coefficient of convective heat transfer may also vary along the surface hence the term hl is used here average heat transfer coefficient the total heat transfer rate is given by the formula capital q is equal to integration of q into da now as small q is uh, equal to hl into ts minus t infinity so capital q is equal to integration of hl into ts minus t infinity into da next step is q is equal to small h into capital a into bracket ts minus t infinity where h is the average convective heat transfer coefficient for the entire surface now it is expressed as h is equal to 1 upon a square bracket integration of h at the base l into da for simple plate 
of length l of unit width the h is the function of length only hence area means length into width now width is l width is here unit means 1 so l into 1 is equal to l so area becomes equal to l so h is equal to 1 upon l integration of h l into dx here x is taken now direction of heat transfer values of h are mentioned for the different cases here are the five cases natural convection with air force convection with air force convection with water boiling of water and condensing water vapor these are the range of values of h mentioned over here so at the end of this session you can explain newton's law of cooling local heat transfer coefficient and average heat transfer coefficient so subscribe the channel thermal engineering for the other video sessions thank you